everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber i say thank you and if you're just stopping here for the first time then click on the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss when i post informative content and so okay so this video today i'm going to read part of my essays that one with the common way shared scholarship so you're able to pick ideas and able to write to yours so that you too can get the common way scholarship so let's begin so the first question is on development impact which is 200 words and it says provide a development impact statement how your proposed study relates to the APAC that it says development issues at global national and local level then the B part development issues connected to your choosing CSE team and the wider sector so i'll just here yeah, i'll give an idea how you can go about answering this question so the thing about the common way shared scholarship that I like is that it gives you pointers inters on what exactly that you should write so in this first question what is asking you is what course you want to study how that was the issue what's the problem that the course you study wants to solve and to back up this answer you should look at things as statistics like the global maybe if it's education you're applying for so you can say something like maybe one in ten children are out of school and then the question again says development issues at global national so bring it to national level so in your country this issue how predominant is it do you have data to back that up so you can say according to a UNICEF report in Ghana, 10 out of so, so children are out of school. So you quote that there. And then say at local level. So maybe you're working in a community and this particular issue is predominant. So maybe you want to give information and data to say, okay, so in this community, you've observed this, maybe through your personal survey, or maybe you walk around this area to say, okay, so in my work in this area, I've noticed that. So that's kind of ties. And if you have personal stories that relate to you to say, okay, maybe personally, you too, you have experienced this particular challenge. You can list it out in this question. And then the big part that says development issues connected to your choosing CSC team and the wider sector. So if you've gone through the website of a scholarship, you've noticed that each team i think there are about six development team they have courses under them so tell us how this particular course you're applying for relates to the team under this video so find a way to tie that down okay so the second question is how you tend to apply your new skills and qualifications when you return back home and it's 100 words so yeah i'll read um, my the essay answer that i gave in this question i said upon returning to nigeria i'll continue to work in my ngo that is development initiative an organization that empowers women and girls to utilize the power of their voice and maximize their potential to contribute to society's development. So I will use the acquired knowledge in research methodologies, data analysis, and interpretation to improve our project programs to promote women's social economic empowerment. I also intend to engage in knowledge sharing with other organizations, among others, such as the Nigerian Network of NGOs. This would strengthen the capacity of the NGO community to use research methodologies, data analysis to influence policy, to influence public policy. So just see how I, I was able to like say what exactly I'm going to apply my skills. You see, I was mentioning the skills, the research and things like that. So related to your course, what are the skills that you will acquire and how can you use that to support the work? when you return back home so maybe for example maybe if you work in academic sector you're a lecturer so you can say okay maybe if you acquire new skills a letter that will help others maybe publish more research work or maybe there's a new way of learning you're able to include it in your tertiary institutional curriculum you know things like that so in your own course in your own area so think how you can align whatever skills you are going to learn to your work so let's go to the third question and third question says what do you expect would change in development terms following your studies and this is 250 words so the a part that says the outcome that you aim to achieve and the b part is the time frame for your implementation and then the c part is who the beneficiaries would be i want to say something here so when most people say this question they are thinking oh you have to like design like a project and a program because of the things that's asking no it's not compulsory that you have to like design a project on your program depending on the kind of course you are studying or the work that you want to do so i'll just give tips here so for this section it's telling you that what do you expect will change so the outcome the time frame all the beneficiaries will be so first of all like this course that you are studying who are the people that will benefit from me it's maybe if you're a doctor that have to do with health health um like maybe high blood pressure so you can say okay 
patients suffering from hypertension or if you're a teacher you can say uh, student in primary school or if you're a lecturer you can say okay student in university so give us exactly don't be so vague to say who are the, what are what are the demographic of this kind of people be specific enough what are the age range okay maybe between the age of 10 to 15 25 so depending on what exactly you want to solve you're able to like give age um, and then over the location like okay so where exactly yes we know you are returning back to your country where your country is so big the issue is that people like to exaggerate it to say okay uh, i'll walk across all the states in my country we know that you cannot walk across all the states in your country even the uk government is always funny i'm not able to solve all with development it have not solved all the problem in your country how much you who is just coming back that want to solve all the problem in your country so be specific to say maybe you're working you have a community to say okay i'll implement this project in this community or maybe if you're lecturing in university to say okay this particular university will benefit so the more specific niche you are the more better you have a chance of getting not exaggerating this and being so vague it's not going to get you the scholarship and also here too maybe if you're also thinking of doing a project you should look at okay who are you partner with because you cannot do this project alone that's why the uk government is organization to implement that project because they too cannot work alone even with all the resources they have so maybe if you are thinking of doing a project so think of what organization already are working around this area to say okay i'll partner with these you know things like that just so that they know how clear you are to know that you know exactly what you are going to do so and then the next question is the fourth one which how the impact of your work could be best measured and it's 100 words so i'm going to read part of my essays here is what i said i said a pre-assessment survey will be conducted before the project commences so this project will be monitored during implementation so data collection and analysis will be used for monitoring and evaluation so surveys will be conducted with the project beneficiaries to track their activities and measure progress so some indicators that we used to measure progress include and then i list out the indicators that we use so for you depending on what exactly you want to do so the previous question i have stated what exactly i want to do my i i designed a project for for others i've seen people that want a scholarship that design a project i say okay they'll work with maybe a such um a particular agricultural firm to say okay i'll help this agricultural firm you know to source for fun on how to have this technology device that can prevent food storage you know things like that i'll work with navdac i'll work with this government agency to teach them these new skills on this so it, so it doesn't have to be a project but for mine was a project so and then i said okay so for that project i was going to do so before i conduct this project to know that okay if i was successful in this project or not i'll have to conduct a pre-assessment survey to know exactly what's the baseline the situation on ground and then before the project starts and when the project is being implemented i'll be doing monitoring and evaluation to know the difference that this project is making in this particular place and then data collection yes in doing this is data collection i'm doing and then surveys I'll use surveys before the project to track the activities and this and that. So just think around you know, your own course and what you think you can use to, to monitor your work. So the next question is proposed study in the UK, and this is 125 words. So the question is saying that you should provide a short outline of your proposed study and research. So this should be written for an audience that does not have any prior knowledge of the subject and must not be overly technical. So one thing about the application is you don't know who is going to read your application. So it's not going to be someone, it might not be even someone who is in your field that first of all read this application. So you don't want to put people of speaking grammar scientific term and they'll be like they don't understand this and take your application aside so use simple words that are easier to understand that is what this question is giving us giving you the pointer and so some tips that i'll give you here is this place you have to like go to the university website read what is there to understand what this course is about and be very careful most people don't take time to do these things to gather information a course might say international development in this university a another this same course also named international development in another university but you'll be surprised that the models are different you think oh it's international development has to do with poverty but when you go and check the um, the various university website you see that this particular university's 
even focus on maybe climate change or something that has to do with geography, which they're not even talking about uh, maybe um, youth unemployment or poverty, disaster. I mean, they're talking about something different, but because it's international development, you just write like what you think it should be. Go and check what each school is specific, what the course they are doing there is specific on to gather this information. So check um, through the program and then check the core models that you'll be taking so you know exactly the kind of models that they'll be teaching and then to know how to like structure your work do not copy and paste that will be taken as plagiarism and they'll just flag flag your work off you won't get the scholarship so after reading this thing your own understanding write it in your own words how you understand these things that they are saying then i like the benefits of this course so tie everything down together to say okay this course is about these this program and this model on this can help me to achieve this you know which i will use when i come back or using my work as this whatever so just go to the website and check through details and then okay so the next question is number six which is provide a detailed plan of your proposed study so the selection panel will want to understand why you have selected your proposed course and universities so describe clearly and then the a part is saying why are you choosing your proposed course and the university? And why do you want to undertake the study in the UK? That's the A part. The B part is saying, what is it that you're looking for in a course and how your choosing course relates to your objective? Then the C part is any dissertation topic that you have in mind. You see this question, they are following each other together. So the first one has to do with the fifth one was asking you things like, provide a short outline so there they just want to know first of all if you understand the course so now is the time for you to go deeper into the course in this number six it's asking you the a part try to like find answers to the a part but don't go about writing a b c just intertwine them all together as an essay so the a part is saying why are you choosing your proposed course so now okay so this course of all the course in the world why is it that you are the good fit and the best person to study this course and not something else that you should be studying so you have to like explain that here in this question why this particular cause so it's up to you to give reason why you want this particular cause and then then why do you want to undertake this study in the uk yes because this cause is not only universities in the uk that are probably offering this cause there are various universities in the world there are universities in the uk in canada in france australia so why is it that is the uk you want to undertake this study you should be able to list that that's out and it's asking you again what is it that you are looking for in the course and how this course relates to your objective so this course that you want to study how does it relate to your plan that is what it's trying to say here the advice that i'll give you here is now when you look through the university website people made the mistake of saying oh uh, our university have research facilities believe you me oh i think all the universities in the uk they are standard they have facilities so it's up to you to now know what is so special about your university and this course to state it there to say okay maybe your university is the one that always lead in research write it out there or maybe there's a particular lecturer in this university go check check you have to like for you to be to be outstanding you have to be so specific enough go and read to the website check the lecturers in this course, maybe there's a professor to say, okay, professor, this every year he does this program. I want to study here because you have access to him to gain, you know, from his methodology. Or maybe there's a particular project currently now that this university is running, and this relates to the kind of work you want to do to say, okay, you want to be part of this project. Do you understand? It will build your capacity for something more. And what is the name? Maybe they have like this research group. So they used to have like name to say, okay, this research group is called what? Mention that research group to say, research group, this, focus on this, and this align with my priority area of this. So by working with this research group, I have access, you know, to new innovation, or maybe your university is someone that is big in networking, they host like this um, networking event, they normally do all the time. Say to say, okay, this university hosts this program every year. I mean, part of this university, I have access to meet other people, other mentors, you know, Go and find out about your university. Nobody will do the work. You dig deep down to find out this. Don't just go there to say, okay, they have the best lecturer. Who are these lecturers? The specific, call the lecturer's name. Or to say, okay, their research area. What is their research area? List it out. Is it research area on climate justice? Is it research area on food security? So you list it down. They're asking you any dissertation topic you have in mind. So just think about what exactly you probably like to do. And just state it there you don't have to think too much if it's something that aligns with you and be careful to don't say something like i said before 
um, maybe you're thinking is this, and then the university is focused on another area, and then you go and write that. that. So try to write something that relates to what exactly your university is working on. So find a topic around that. It's not comp it's not a hard and fast route. And when you get to the UK, you must you must work on that particular dissertation topic. The dissertation topic idea I had in mind and I wanted to is completely different from what I'm trying to do now because when you start your studies, you might find other areas that interest you and things like that. But so just try so that you understand that okay, this person for now is thinking in this direction. Yeah, so that's how you can go about answering that question. So the next question is career plan and it's 250 words and it says the selection panel will want to understand how your proposed study will assist you in your careers. Describe the skills that you expect to gain from this scholarship and the career plans once you return home afterward. So it's asking you objective during the award. So I'll read part of my essays here. So look is what I said. I said I intend to gain knowledge of various research methodologies and a diverse method used in impact evaluation models to design and evaluate projects in my work as international development. So I hope to learn about important tools, method, technical and personal skills relevant in the leadership of development organizations. And then I said, I look forward to learning about foreign policy framework and improving my understanding of the processes involved in the conceptualization of foreign policy. This will build my capacity in policy making to excel in my aspiration of serving in public office. I said I aim to improve my intercultural communication skills by participating in the various events and workshops organized by the University of Bristol and the Commonwealth Shared Scholarship. I look forward to interacting with CSC recipients from across the Commonwealth countries and other countries and other students from across the globe and expanding my network by engaging with them. I plan to participate in student-led discussions and work in multicultural teams to improve my team building, leadership skills, presentation skills, and project management skills. I anticipate contributing to the CSC knowledge of and collaborating with others. I will share my research work, post links to valuable content to support scholars and the alumni network. Also, I will promote CSC events. I plan to contribute to such events by delivering a webinar. In addition, I look forward to experiencing UK culture by visiting the Clifton Suspension Bridge and attending festivals like the Bristol International Balloon Festival. That's what I just gave there. So just think about you and your own course. What exactly, what is your plan during this? You don't have to... Don't even think of copying my essay because if you say the same thing that I've written, you flag it as plagiarism. So in your own way, your own understanding, what is your plan during this hour listed? That what specific skills do you want to learn? So say it and how does this tie to the work that you want to do? So tag your 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 career plan into it to say, okay, if I gain this, like I said, I want to learn about like foreign policy because I plan to serve in public office. So in your own model, what exactly and how would this help you in your future aspiration? You should list things like that there. And then again, like the UK, like, okay, so the foreign question of why the UK? So because the UK is a place that you have different people from across the world coming to the UK. So it's a place to meet different people from across the world to improve my intercultural communication skills. So exactly, since what I said, I want to improve that skills because this is a global world we live in. It's a rat with people from across the world. So state it down there. And I said, you know, I'll participate like in CSC events. And then I look forward to interacting with scholars, you know, student-led discussion because you're going to be learning. So what exactly do you want to be part of your group work presentation, things like that? Contributing to CSA activities, yes, like currently now, I am a coordinator for scholars in the Southwest region. Yes, so after I even fulfilled some of the objectives I wanted during the award. Promoting CSC events, yes, like I've been talking about CSC all the time, like apply for the scholarship and things like that. So it depends on what exactly you want to do. And again, it's not only study they want you to study. They want you to like experience the UK culture. They want you to be grounded in every area of your life, like academically, professionally, but working. So list things like socially too, because you can't be studying all the time. It's where you are. Studying here is very stressful. So you want to also experience the culture. Maybe there's a, um, the UK, the UK, the kind of meals that it is different from meals. You want to taste that meal. Like I said, like where Bristol is. So find where your city is. What are the tourists? Tourist attractions that they have there. So, like in Bristol, they have like this Clifton Suspension Bridge, and I've been there. So, you want to see things like that in this city and the kind of festivals or programs that they do. So, you can add that to your essay. So, the eighth question is career plans in the five years following the award, and it's 250 words. So, I'm going to read again from my essay what I wrote there. So, I said, 
Upon returning to Nigeria, I intend to continue to work in my organization and then at least my organization name again. And then I said, the Commonwealth Shared Scholarship Award will help me to acquire academic competence and improve my management and leadership skills to excel in running the organization. This will be crucial to further enhance the organization mission of empowering women and girls to utilize the power of their voice and maximize their potential to contribute to society's growth and development. So one of the priority areas of the UK government is governance and civil society. This is evidenced by the UK funding of the WEU project that aims to tackle the exclusion of women and youth in governance processes in Nigeria, implemented by Action Aid Organization. I'll be complementing such intervention by implementing, I stated the name of my project there and what it's going to do. So in addition, I'll be involved in building partnership and collaboration with other organizations such as K-Impact Development Initiative. So to implement the kind of project I want to do there. So to succeed in my career plans, I will continue to build my capacity by being part of professional fellowship programs, attending seminars, conferences, workshops and taking courses to improve my intellectual and leadership capacity. Yeah, so this question is asking you your career plan like post five years following this award, which is maybe you graduate, you started counting like the five years. What exactly do you want to do? This is a funding or this is an investment of your taxpayers' money. They want to know that they are putting this money in the right person who is a solution provider. So who will you be? They want people that in the future they know that okay, we fund this person and this person, you know, is solving problems in the world. So in the five years, what exactly with this course that you have studied and this thing that I say, what exactly can you make out of it? And then I've listed it that. So one advice I'll give you here. So people like to exaggerate. Do not exaggerate. Once you start exaggerating, they will just nigg you up because they know that you cannot achieve this thing. So first of all, it's safe for you, even though you have plan of maybe thinking, okay, with this master, now you want to go and start working with the UN immediately. There's no guarantee that you get the job working there. Why not you start by saying, first of all, you return back to where exactly you're coming from because they don't want to send you and then you come back, you have someone who is now unemployed, looking for a job, looking for what to do. They want to know that you've already think clearly so it can be safe to say you're returning back to exactly where you're working to come and in with this knowledge of inquire to come and improve you know the your companies or organization activities you know for more impact you state it there clearly and then another thing you can also do is to, for them to know that okay that yes you exactly know what the uk government is doing in your country because this is exactly what i went to do i went to check their development tracker and they also have the UK government, they have like a Facebook group. So check your country to see exactly the kind of project that the UK government is doing in your country. So I went there and then I discovered that one of their priority area is governance and civil society, which is in line with the kind of work that I normally do. So I studied it there and also stated that the kind of project they are funding, I mentioned the organization that they are funding to say, okay, so if you are funding this project and this is my project idea, I'm trying to do is complements the kind of work that you two you want to do so they say that okay we are working in in line of the same direction and then i said not that after five years i won't study again i won't be proving myself i said i'll be taking professional courses you know attending fellowship to build my capacity don't go back and say okay in the space of five years you want to build schools i see people write that no they know that you cannot build schools so don't even think that by you lying to say you build this facility, you build this hospital, you do this one, you may not give you the scholarship. No, be simple and truthful to the core and write things that are realistic. That's what they expect of you. So depending on your course, find how you answer what that question. So the next one is the long-term career plan, which is 250 words. So yeah, talk about that's like from five years and above what exactly do you want to do so yeah you can start saying maybe you want to work with you and you build um, something or whatever start company or something else so you can start listening there or you start serving in public office as minister of this or you are working as an ambassador of this. so whatever your long-term dream is you can state it there and state exactly how this you can also say how this aligns maybe to the sdgs or to development you know things like that exactly so then the next one is your personal statement which is 500 words like summarize the ways in which your personal background has encouraged you to want to make an impact in your own country you should indicate areas in which you have already contributed such as having overcome any personal or community barriers to higher education yes this question is asked look at it it's giving you pointers it's about you now to write about yourself 
telling you that how your personal background has encouraged you to want to make impact in your own country yes so what have you gone through or what have you seen that wants you, you know to come and solve this problem or take this course and the effect you want to make back so you can take it to yourself so maybe there's something you suffered while you were young and uh, you don't want others to go through the same thing or you've seen your family member go through this or your community there's high cases of you know youth involved in drugs and it's causing a lot of issues insecurity things like that so you say you don't want this to happen so you tie it down to write it down there and then it's also telling you that in the case areas you have already contributed they don't want to know that okay the plan of what you want to do now they've asked you already your future plan what exactly are you already doing in this particular area of problem so list it down and state it there and then it said such as having overcome any personal or community barrier to higher education yeah so like me i listed that there was a time during my secondary school i missed one time out of school because my father could not afford to pay my school fees that's a barrier because i have to have like a gap between my education but irrespective of that i'm able to list out how i was able to like handle that during that time like i was going to get notes and do this so because of this i'm trying to you know so state that in your own way what is your own challenge even also strike is a challenge now Study there to say, okay, maybe if you are someone who experienced ASU strike, to say, okay, there was ASU strike so, so time. But so during this time, this is exactly what we will do. Maybe we're now teaching other students that, okay, so they should not, since you already have like maybe the syllabus for the term to like build their capacity, or maybe you're engaging them like in their mental health so that they should be stable and not thinking of to start being involved in social vices because of the uh, ASU strike. You know, things like that, you can list it down there. So that's the question. And then, okay. Voluntary and leadership experience, 500 words. So summarize the way in which you have engaged in voluntary activities and the opportunities you have to demonstrate leadership. So yeah, just for you to like talk about your voluntary and leadership experiences. Don't forget to use the star approach, the situation, the tax approach. And just sometimes you can miss the T and the A together. So I'll just give an example here. So maybe you observe that there's... um no water in your community and because of that many people depend on rainwater and by them taking rainwater they're having like is it lead diseases or things like that causing so 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 that's like the situation on ground so you that observe this thing what what did you take to like solve this project which is the t and the a so did you reach out to maybe your counselor in this community to say this is what this community is going through or maybe you went to water aid or somewhere to say okay this is what is happening in this community and so because of you taking this action water aid came to sink a borehole or uh, the senator the house of rep member okay or maybe a fletcher person in this community came back home you know to solve the water problem by providing proper water supply for people in this community then after this what's the result what's changed after this so after this so people now have access to clean water there's now a reduction of lead diseases period so for you to be specific as possible where exactly did this thing happen mention the name of the community which organization or which person did you reach out to state it there so that when you are reading it i'm not like uh this thing is not sounding it's not clear maybe this person is lying or something be as specific as possible state the name state the place state where if possible state the date maybe they did a project state the date that this happened and then one thing i've noticed again that people will just say okay uh, they did a project for one thousand people so what you did capacity building for one thousand people anybody can do capacity building for one thousand people to raise awareness yeah after doing that project to measure impact what exactly changed is what they want to find out so go there and state it to say okay maybe after this your awareness campaign you did a survey 50 percent of this don't just stop our staying there so take it down to the end let's know the impact that you actually make so i hope that with this few insights i'm really part of my essay you're able to write your scholarship application very well and i wish you the very best in your application if you've not subscribed subscribe to this channel i keep providing valuable content and click on the notification bell so till next time wishing you success in your application